Okay, so I'm going to assume you clicked on today's video because you want to learn how to add keyboard shortcuts to enhance the overall user experience of your amazing website or JavaScript game. If that's the case, I have some great news. It's easy. Really easy. All right. Let me show you how to do it. Right here, I've got the HTML opened up for this website right here. Okay, so it's a very simple website. It's only got a title and some content. These keyboard shortcuts uh, should work on almost any existing website or project. I'm gonna assume you guys also have a similar setup. We've got an existing website and we're gonna be adding those keyboard shortcuts to it. Also make sure you have the F12 developer tools opened up in the browser and go to the JavaScript console section so we can see some important information about what we're gonna be doing today. Going back inside the text editor, we're gonna head down inside the end of the body tags and open up a new JavaScript tag right here. The first step inside the JavaScript is gonna be to add an event listener to the document. So we're gonna say here, document.addEventListener and then just say inside here, key down. This event is gonna fire off whenever the user presses one of their keyboard keys down. They don't need to let go of the key and actually press it it's when they actually press the key down. You're gonna also wanna make sure that you grab onto the E event object right there, and this function is gonna run whenever the user presses a key on their keyboard. This E right here, this, this uh, event object is very important to these keyboard shortcuts and making sure they're going to work. Let's just console.log and take a look at what E actually is. So if I save this and then go back in the browser, I'm now gonna press, uh, let's just press the U key on the keyboard. As we can see in the console, we have this keyboard event. So this right here is a JavaScript object and basically it's what the E is in the function. So as we can see, there's quite a bit of information about the event which has just occurred. Of course, the event is simply just the key press. One of the most important properties in this object here is gonna be the key property right here. We can see it's currently set to U. This just means, well, look, I pressed on the U key. You've also got things like the alt key, uh, true or false property, you have control key and you have shift key. So those properties there are gonna allow you to, you know, create those special keyboard shortcuts with, you know, control S, control I, and so on. So how do we get this to actually be a keyboard shortcut and use this data? Well, it's very straightforward. We're gonna be taking a look at an example where when I press control U, I'm gonna be welcomed with a nice welcome message in a little alert box. So let's do that now. So going back inside the text editor, inside the event listener function here, we're gonna do a check and we're gonna say if e dot key dot to lowercase, okay, is equal to u, then we're gonna run some code inside here. I did use two lowercase on the key here, uh, just to ensure that you know there's no scenario where we're accidentally gonna get that key in uppercase. So uh, that's just a bit of a safety net there. Um, just checking if it's equal to the u character. So of course now I can say something like alert, and I'll just say welcome Dom. If I save this and go back in the browser and press on the U, we get welcome Dom right there. Very straightforward. Of course, you guys can add your own custom code inside here and make your keyboard shortcut work. When it comes to the control key, it's gonna be very straightforward. I'll just drop down here and extend upon this keyboard shortcut. I'll now say and E dot control key, Okay, then we're gonna say, look, if I pressed control and then U, then we're gonna get that alert. I'll go back in the browser, just like this. I'll say control U and there we go. So it really is that simple, guys. You, of course, are gonna to wanna to add your own content inside here. Now, as we can see, control U actually triggers this right here. It allows me to see the source code for the website. How do we prevent this from happening? Okay, so this might happen on a control S for a save or, you know, control O for an open. How do you prevent the default behavior of running in the browser? Very straightforward. Let's go back inside here. We're going to say e.prevent default. This just means, look, 
whatever the default behavior is for this event, let's prevent that from happening. And then it's gonna run your code like normal. Let's go back in the browser and press Control U again. We get this right here, press OK, and we no longer get that source code being viewed. So of course, you guys can add as many shortcuts as you want down here, and it's all gonna work perfectly fine. You can just say duplicate just like this, and you can check for more things. You could use an else if, if you want to, it's up to you. But there it is. And that is how to add keyboard shortcuts to your existing website or project using JavaScript. If today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.